Friends, here we are talking about basic operations on strings. Let me go with one by one. The very first one is finding the length of a string. See here, I am taking a simple shell script called operations on strings.sh. Now let me define a variable called my shell with the data as bash. So simply bash string we assign to my shell variable. Now here finding the length of a string is nothing but how many characters are there in your string. So if you count it manually, there are four characters, but programmatically or logically how you can get it. Let me show you that. So I am taking a new variable called my shell length. Then as of now directly I am assigning my shell variable value to this new variable value. Then let me display that new variable value using echo just for our understanding. What is the data inside my shell length? Now let me run it. Yes, you are getting bash because bash is there in my shell. My shell value we are assigning to this variable and then this variable we are displaying. That's why you are getting bash. That's fine. But in this syntax, suppose if you modify with a hash like this, then in this variable, how many characters are there that will count and then that result will assign to this variable. Now let me run and see the result. You are getting four. So this is the syntax to get how many characters are there in your string or what is the length of your string. Now you can uh, decorate your output if you want. Let's say the uh, length of a string, your string is there in this uh, variable called my shell is. Now execute and see the result. Yes, the length of a string bash is 4. That's it. Next one is concatenation of strings. See concatenation of strings is nothing but adding two or more strings. Let me show you that. So for time being I am commenting these two lines and then let me take a new variable called my scripting. So I am taking uh, like shell scripting. Now suppose if you want to add this bash and shell scripting. Suppose if you add these two you are going to get bash shell scripting. So that is nothing but concatenation. But anyway, bash is there in this my shell. Shell scripting is there in this my scripting variable. So I am taking a new variable called my shell scripting. And then I am substituting these two variable values here. Uh, first variable is my shell. Then second variable is my scripting. Now this syntax is nothing but concatenation of strings. So two string values we are adding and then result we are storing into this variable. Now let me display that a new resulted variable and then see the result. Yes, you are getting bash shell scripting. But here between bash and shell there is no space. So if you want to add space, bash is there in first variable, shell scripting is there in the second variable. So between these two variables I am adding space save it and run it. So you are going to get an error that is shell command not found. So actually whenever there is a space while doing concatenation, you have to provide quotations for your entire code concatenation. That's it. Now see the result. That's it. Next one is converting a string into lower or upper case. These two are the syntaxes to convert your string into upper and then lower. Let me show you that. Now again let me comment these three lines. So as of now in your script you have only one line that is my shell equals to bash. And here if you observe your string is in terms of lower case. Now what I am doing is I am taking a new variable called my shell upper equals to dollar your variable whatever the variable value you want to convert into upper case then two caps then display your new variable and see the result my shell uppercase save it and then run it yes uppercase letters now let me take one more variable let's say my shell my new shell i am taking now this time i am taking directly in terms of uppercase then after that i am taking my shell lowercase so for that, the value which is there in terms of uppercase, that variable, this one, 
then two commas now display this new variable and see the result now see the result yes you are getting your last output my shell lowercase in terms of lowercase bash see this uppercase string we converted into lowercase using this syntax that's it see there is an alternative way to convert your uh, string into uh, upper or lower that is using transfer command let me show you that so you can write uh, directly in your script or else let me show you that directly on my command line let's say uh, i'm taking my shell equals to let's say bash then echo let's say my shell so transfer command small a to z i want to convert them as capital a to z that's it so on this once again if you apply like a transfer so what i will do is capital a to z just to convert them into small a to z that's it then next one is slicing of strings see slicing of string is nothing but getting the part of your string or getting the substring from your string using index concept so for that this is the simple syntax dollar curly braces your variable colon starting index colon length so first here let me tell you about what is index see suppose if i are uh, define bash string into some variable not only bash string any string so in this string there are four characters anyway by default for each and every character there is some position or index which is assigned by your shell by default so if you go from left to right b position is 0 a position is 1 s position is 2 h position is 3 not only for this string any string you can take let me take one more string new so again from left to right by default shell will give some position for n that is left to right starting position is 0 so for second character position is 1 third character position is 2 like this now let me define a variable called my shell script equals to bash shell scripting so if you count index values b index is 0 a index is 1 s index is 2 h index is 3 there is a space for space also there is index that is 4 likewise now let me display a value like my shell script based on our syntax suppose if i display directly your variable value you are going to get entire data right yes you are getting bash shell scripting but if you go with this syntax so this is your variable colon starting index let's say uh, i want to display from this h then h index is 0 1 2 3 from that i want to display let's say only two characters then h after that space two characters now see the result h and then space if you take four then from h four characters h space s and then h now see the result that's it then the same concept you can also get using cut command let me show you that directly on my command line suppose i am taking this in my command line then echo dollar my shell script yes you are getting so as of now if you don't know about cut command no worries we'll see that characters i want to get let's say uh, only first character or else 1 2 4 or else 1 2 6 or else let's say from 2 to 5 something like that then replacing the part of the string see suppose if you have a some string so in that you can replace your old string with new string using this syntax let me show you that let me do it quickly on command line itself let's say i am taking my uh, var or anything equals to bash scripting now bash i want to replace with bash shell then see directly i am doing echo command echo you are my var slash this is the old string then new string is bash shell 
only in place of bash i want to display bash shell yes bash shell scripting so this entire thing you can also assign to a new variable let's say my new var equals to and then you can display that new var to see the data that's it so same thing you can also uh, achieve using set command as well see suppose i am doing a code dollar my var so you know echo command then here what i am doing is set substitute in place of bash with bash shell scripting sorry only bash shell already scripting is there right so globally in all places that's it 